for the last yeah. final of the day. So our last final for the 2017 Pens will be Leandro Lowe in the blue gi, João Gabriel in the white gi. Both of which we saw winning their respective matches earlier in the finals yeah, sure. for their Gabriel. weight class. Yep, João Gabriel Hosha looking very good this week. And um, as now, is Leandro Lowe. This is one of the yeah. few matchups, though, where you get the top guys at the top weight classes that can move real well, like a Joel Gabriel, yep. where now these guys really start to push Leandro Lowe and actually probably have an advantage yeah. going in. And tactically, Joel Gabriel has the tools to win this. He does. If he plays a very, you know, he, if he plays a perfect match, he, can, he could beat Lowe. He's got the tools to do it. He's good enough on the feet. He's good enough on top to, to keep things at bay. But I, I think he's got to score early. He's got to score first. Um, and he's got to be able to, if he's put on the bottom, he's got to be able to get back up without being scored on. So that's it. That's that's a tough, 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 tough order. But he's also extremely but fast it, and yeah. much bigger than Landry. And Lowe. that's the thing. He's got the tools to do it, but he really needs to, to play intelligently and really towards his strengths. Which makes it sound like Joao Gabriel really has to like mind his P's and Q's in this matchup. Yeah. But I'm, we're talking about his opponent who used to be a lightweight. Yeah, I know. I, I, I mean, just just keep that in mind. Yeah. That is so crazy to me. Leandro Lowe is just that good. Yeah, he is. Should make for a great matchup. This is our last final, so thank you guys for staying with us. Tomodeshi. Immediately trying to elevate. Oh, Leandro Lowe's base. Can't quite get to his side enough, actually. Just instead of elevating straight up, he needs to elevate to the side. It's that bottom leg that's the power leg on the Sumagashi, not the lifting leg. It's that uh, bottom leg has to really push off the ground. There he's pushing. There he goes. There, there he's he, yep, beautiful. The much, sweep. much better that time. Pushed. Over to the side, that bottom leg pushed off the ground. And <laughs> and really only at this absolute division against the top of the scrappy best black belts at the highest weight classes do we see things like a, a somewhat easy sweep against yeah. Leandro Lowe. Yeah. In anything else, you just do not see that. Oh, yeah. So unusual. Low coming up and now. <laughs> and low still dangerous. Yeah, but this it's is crazy. This is what I'm talking about with. They're going to go out of bounds you know, here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Gabriel Hosha, like he's just got to stay. He's got to stay in this type of mindset. He can't get too carried away. Got to. Don't get overly aggressive. Yeah, yeah. No. It stay to his strengths. But there's that man. That's in the way. Low. <laughs> Oh, and trying for drop Seonagi, yeah. but Andrew Lowe just circles all the way around. Nullifies that, and back on the feet. If you're Leandro Lowe, would you want to pull guard, <laughs> I was about to say? Yeah, get just, you know, if you're Lowe, you do, you do what Lowe does, and you make things <laughs> chaos, <laughs> you know? Hey, you pull guard, sweep, get underneath Hosha, where you can get on his legs. He His his classic sweep of that foot on the bicep underneath, boom, like a basically lumberjack style sweep. Um, you know, that puts anyone down, puts everybody, can put anyone down. And, and uh, you know, then once he's on top, of course, it's, I think, look at that wrist lock attempt there. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you'd like to see Low make this more of a, a dirty, scrappy fight. Yeah, because I think you can get, yeah, I think you can get Hosha involved in that, and you can get him emotional, and you can get him involved instead of playing to his strength and being, you know, doing what he's best at. Draw him out of his yeah, comfort zone well, and get absolutely. him to overcommit. Absolutely, to and then you're in Lowe's territory. You're in, you know, you're. Oh, and 
Well, Gabriel thinking about, as you said, thinking about that toe hold. It's gonna land him on the bottom though. Yeah. Getting a little hasty there. Andrew ties it up on points, still down in advantage in the 50-50. You can see this perpendicular manner that he is facing away from Joel Gabriel, and that's for base. Yep. Because it is so easy to sweep typically from 50-50 if you're facing your opponent. But Joel Gabriel yeah. going after that uh, that Taking, far leg, yeah. which is very dangerous is. if you know how to footlock from there. It was a very nice knee bar from there, but uh, Herbert Santos does really well, really well in this position. But um, not going to try that. He's going to try to come up to the top. And you can see Landerlo trying to get his leg out Whoa. of there, and he does. Now, but there is a scramble. Yeah. Joao Gabriel <laughs> jumps all over him. Now on the south side of Turtle, but they're, I think they're going to just restart yeah. them right back in the center standing, the right? score an advantage, yep. So that's gonna be two advantage now for Joao Gabriel. Nothing for Leandro Lowe. Nope, yep. If you're not familiar with the advantage system, then uh, all it is is it doesn't play a factor whatsoever unless the score is tied. Yeah. So if Leandro Lowe has even one more point than Joao Gabriel, then that nullifies all of the advantage. I think there was a. Oh, so they replayed it and overturned it. And that's what I think just happened. I think they spoke with the head referee and overturned that behind the scenes. That's what I believe just happened. Overturned what? Yeah. They, you know, they can look at that and review that, and that's what the side for, referees were for doing. For that scramble that went out of that bounds? That went out of bounds. And so they now just. So said no advantage for that. He gets two points. He gets two points. Two points. Wow. Yeah, that's, that's big. That's a huge deal. Leandro Lowe jumping right to close guard. He's very very good from there. Yeah, and I don't disagree with that. The knees were on the ground after he came up. Oh, and just hits the kiss of the that. dragon. Yeah, He's going to look to come up and take the back. Joel Gabriel, very intelligent about that one. Cuts his now, losses. Wow, pulls that's up a toe hold. Wow! Leandro Lowe! <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> Joel Gabriel went 50-50, figure forward his leg, and Leandro Lowe reached back on that figure four and zapped a toe hold. Did I and really just see that? You did. You did see that. A former lightweight. Yep. Got into an absolute finals against a much bigger man that did not mind his P's and Q's. <laughs> got drawn out into yeah. a scrappy fight man. and lost to a toehold, yeah. which you rarely see at the top level. Yeah. That is what? a potential on um, any time that leg is figure forward like that, whether you're going for calf slicers, um, you know, 50-50 in this case, it, when you get, if you get that toe hold, it is very difficult. You are locked in, so you don't really have much defense. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah, look at that. Leandro Lowe, your open class 2017 pan champion. Wow. Uh, so is he now one of the favorites going into the absolute division of the worlds? Is, 